Welcome back. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Now today this video probably is a little similar to my last video, but I made a few changes since I've started. Don't mind my ashy hands. I had thoroughly washed them and sanitized them, so they're a bit dry. But today we're making this citrus body butter that you've seen in my previous video. And I made just a few changes in like formulation and in the order I do things. Usually what I do, especially since I do large orders, I'll have my shea butter, mango butter, coconut oil, tea tree oil already pre-made into a large bucket. Um, that way I can just scoop out the mixture, put it in the freezer, and go. And it makes everything a lot faster. So here is my shea butter all cut up in chunks. For you and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some mango butter cut up in chunks and coconut oil and it's summertime so the coconut oil definitely should not be too much here I'm adding my kojic acid and I started adding kojic acid simply because I needed that fade cream so that it takes away all the dark spots. And the turmeric I'm adding for the glow, and also it adds that yellow color for my citrus sunshine. All right, here I've melted my butters together, and you saw that some of the butters didn't melt that much, so I went ahead and stir it, and now it's all completely melted. So I didn't have to put it back in my oven. Here I'm adding tea tree oil, about five drops of it. This is great for healing those acne, pimples, cystic acne scars that are on the face or the back or the chest or the shoulders. And I'm adding my fragrance oil. Give it a good little scent. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the freezer for about an hour or two, or you can refrigerate it about three to four hours. And I have a very solid top. Now I'm transferring it to my bin for I, so I can go ahead and put it in my mixer. And it's really cold, it's kind of tough, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it for it to get mixed. And I'm adding my arrowroot powder, two cups. That way I don't get that greasy feel, especially if I'm putting it on my face. And then my vegetable glycerin. Now if you notice, I put these things in a certain order simply because it makes things a lot easier when I'm going to go ahead and piping it. So I add the arrow powder just to make sure that it's not greasy. I go ahead and add my vegetable glycerin. Now it makes it smooth and buttery and it gives it an extended time. So that way when you're piping it, it's not too hard and stiff. And I went ahead and started with my yellow color and I added an orange and red color as you can see. And I made the orange color so we have a yellow orange have color going on. I add it into my plastic wrap bag. You can always use a press and seal. I prefer using press and seal but I have so much saran wrap that that's what I used for this video. And I rolled it like a big old hefty burrito. And now we're gonna get my large, extra large piping bag and piping tip. And you need large piping tips. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tips, put it in the bag, get it ready for piping. Now if you caught everything, I did everything in a different order than I usually do. I don't just put things together anymore and I have a whole process of how I do like my melting phase and everything. And here I am satisfyingly piping and I don't want the sound on because I have so much noise in the background so you're not going to hear the sounds anyway. But you can enjoy the view. Now, although I put the vegetable glycerin, I don't think I put enough because it already started to harden, so it's kind of stiff there, um, piping it into the jars. Now, you can always use an even larger pipe, but I usually like using these ones instead of the super jumbo ones, so that way it has that really nice flow to it when it's piping and it gives you that you see that texture it's amazing and also I'm gonna be taking some photography photos so I really want a nice little piping tip to make it look extra crisp 
and I really love how the colors turned out. As you can see, I used to do three colors, but I narrowed it down to two because really, you don't need the three colors. And here I am piping the rest of the ones, the two ounces that I didn't pipe. I made two ounces, four ounces, and eight ounces. A lot of people do like the eight ounce because they want, I mean, a full coverage for their blemishes. And here is what they look like after I've pounded them into the jar. You want to tap them into the jar so that way they all fit, especially when you put your lid on so you don't have to scoop anything across the side. And then here are the ones I'm taking for photo purposes because they look really nice. And look at this, my little photo shoot here. Let's see how they turned out amazing and if you want to see more videos how to make my body butters this is a perfect one so go ahead and subscribe and put down in the comments let me know what you think